got you under my skin. I've got you deep in the heart of me. So deep in my heart that you're really a part of me. I've got you under my skin. I'd sacrifice anything, come what might, for the sake of having you near, in spite of a warning voice that comes in the night and repeats, repeats in my ear. Don't you know, little fool? This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. Nine months ago, Joker was cremated. I pressed the button and burnt the evil bastard myself. And then, we waited. Gotham braced itself for the inevitable power struggle. But it didn't come. Crime actually fell. Deep down, I knew war was coming. I was just waiting for someone to pull the trigger. Thanks. No problem. Oh, thanks, honey. So, what'll it be? Your usual? Sure. Okay, chicken salad with no dressing. <laughs> no, you know what? Make it waffles. With a side of bacon. Don't tell my wife. Whatever you say, officer. Oh, and if you want some more coffee, just shout. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt your dinner, Officer uh, Owens. But there's a guy smoking over there in the corner booth. <sighs> Wait here. I'll have a word. There's no smoking in here. used just five ounces of my latest toxin. 
Tomorrow, this will seem like child's play. Gotham, this is your only warning. Scarecrow's threat worked. Yesterday, there were 6.3 million people in Gotham City. Today, not so many. The only people left on the streets are the sort that enjoy the chaos. Gotham's finest. Scum. Criminals. And worse. Not enough good people left to stop them. It took just 24 hours for us to lose control of the city. Tonight, Gotham's relying on one man to save us all. He's got a big score planned for later. 